guys welcome back to my channel this is my 10 week pregnancy update video and i have some great news to share with you i don't feel as sick as i have done that has started to ease which oh my goodness is such a relief and if you've been feeling like I have you're just feeling really nauseous all the time luckily I from luckily for me I've never actually got to the point where I actually need to be sick it's all oh is that luckily I don't know maybe it's not luckily maybe if I was sick it would have helped but anyway I have just suffered with horrendous nausea so much to the fact that I couldn't walk into my kitchen or sometimes I'd be out and I'd come home and I think oh I don't even like the smell of my own house there's nothing wrong with the smell of my house but it was just bothering me and then I would have to just I don't know just get over it I guess <laughs> because it's my house but um yeah this past week it has started to ease and oh god thank you I have just <laughs> sounds silly doesn't it but unless you've been feeling like this you're probably thinking oh my goodness woman get a grip but I do feel better so and I can I can feel like I can eat more things again now. I can eat a bit of a wider variety so much so that yesterday I went out for my mum's birthday with Summer and I had a lovely meal and I enjoyed all of it I absolutely enjoyed it it was lovely and I was sat around other people eating all sorts of different foods and nothing bothered me which is great um, I'm not completely out of the woods sometimes I think I do feel a bit groggy but nothing compared to how it was so that is my biggest update so symptoms symptoms between weeks 9 and 10 so we are at 10 weeks of pregnancy just slightly over like 10 and a couple of days and I'm starting to feel a bit better. My youngest, George, he has recently started to sleep through the night as well because he usually wakes up and he doesn't settle very well. So it does take us a little while to settle him. So we've been trying some, some ways to help him cope, I guess, with being on his own because I think that's part of the problem. Sorry, there's me digressing again. But anyway, he is sleeping so much better through the night um we've had about five nights now where he has gone to bed and he stayed asleep all night and then he's woke up about seven o'clock in the morning and it's been lovely but i still am having my silly sleep pattern where i will wake up and then that's it i'm like this in bed wide awake so i do probably the worst thing that i should do uh apart from eating I love a midnight snack oh my goodness I'm still enjoying my oranges and a glass of milk so I have an orange and a glass of milk it does not go does it but I, I really like that and Nature Valley do some gorgeous um, crunchy bars oh my goodness it's like a cereal in a bar oh lovely so I love that. Make sure I don't get a load of crumbs in the bed because, oh, no, I can't deal with crumbs in the bed. So I do the worst thing probably that I shouldn't do. And I look through my phone because I'm just bored. Reese is fast asleep. Sometimes I'll say, are you awake? I get no reply. He might be, but, you know, if he says yes, then he's just going to have to talk to me. So I don't blame him, really. I, um, I'm scrolling through my phone. I like to look at where... I am in the pregnancy, you know, 10 weeks, all oh, what's happening now. And then just looking through some maternity forums, it helps me just bond with my baby a bit more. I have read that at 10 weeks, it is wiggling about. So it's little arms and legs are nice and wiggly and it's getting a bit bigger. So let's have a look on the wonderful Baby Center app and see how big the 10 week old baby is. It's the size of an olive. I'm just trying to imagine like a head and then round to the bum and then the arms and the legs. Well, the arms and the legs. Yeah, so it's the size of an olive. It's 3.1 centimeters long. That's actually growing pretty quick because last week 
it was 2.3 centimeters long so 2.3 centimeters to 3.1 in a week it's actually quite a lot and if you think about how far it's come in 10 weeks or I guess the first two weeks of pregnancy you're not actually pregnant are you so like at eight weeks that's actually quite a lot of growing from a speck not being well not even being able to see it like microscopic to that big I really like that but yeah baby is four grams as well weighs four grams no and this is probably one of my favorite parts of the app is seeing how it looks like inside me right now so here this is tiny baby and we're in the picture the lady's got her hand there that's how i feel bloated i am feeling really bloated and it's and i look pregnant um in some of the things i wear some some of my clothes i just I'm starting to feel a little bit snug already starting to feel a bit tight and that's just bloat and that's really common if you're feeling that as well i am there with you because you know it's pretty annoying isn't it nobody knows you're pregnant not really well unless you've told people but we're we're gonna wait until after 12 weeks and and i'm thinking i i actually look pregnant I don't know if my mum's going, hmm. Do you know, I think she knows. I think she knows. I think, you know, mother's intuition. I think she clicked on a few weeks ago, but she hasn't said anything yet because she wouldn't. She wouldn't. She's so lovely like that. She would definitely wait until I said something. She wouldn't want to put me on the spot, which is lovely of her. <sighs> Oh my goodness we've got to tell everybody Woo! couple of weeks time oh my god Woo. <laughs> sorry i'm just letting that sink in two weeks time i will be having my 12 week scan finding out if it's still just one baby or if it's two twins Ooh, hard work I've already got one set of twins and they are hard work yeah my twins are currently two and a half years old I have a almost 14 month old little baby as well so I am busy so yeah let's talk about all my symptoms so my nausea symptom has started to ease um, I, I would say it's literally cut in half i don't feel half as bad as i used to which is oh thank, thank you thank you that i feel so much better because of that um i'm still eating at night time obviously my body needs it so i'll just go with it i my headaches oh, headaches have um disappeared so that's great no more headaches i've still got backache but it seems to have moved from the bottom of my back to like by where my shoulder blades are all around there now i wonder if that's just because i'm lying in bed and i'm thinking oh i need to go to sleep and then i get all a bit tense and you know just a bit worried i'm like oh, so maybe that's what it is i don't know but i hope i hope that passes because that's really uncomfortable and sometimes i'm trying to move my neck it's oh i don't like it yep i'm bloated weeing still doing the weeing a lot um constipation is still there still there out of breath i'm panting now i'm like i'm talking and i'm feeling like i can't i can't say a sentence without thinking <gasps> at the end of it and i just think that's still because my body is working really really hard i am getting round ligament pain every single night now every night and it's painful and i i still haven't rang my midwife because i kind of diagnosed myself with i'm just having another pregnancy and it's not long after my two previous pregnancies so that's probably that's probably got a lot to do with it it's just all it's all relaxing and softening and just things like that are happening again my body's like yep we know what we're doing we've done this very recently 
let's start the ball rolling quickly. So if you're like me and you are feeling the round ligament pain down, down in your pelvis around where your womb would sit, it's literally like round, but I feel it down on the sides like that. That is nothing to worry about. That is just stretching going on, but it can be really sharp and it can take your breath away. And yeah, please don't be too alarmed. Just give yourself time to just relax and just breathe through it basically. Hey, you can practice your breathing techniques. Ready for labour. I actually had a conversation with Reese a couple of nights ago about where we're going to put this baby because the bedrooms are all pretty filled up already. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We might have to do some shuffling around. I don't know, but it will be in the little baskety, wherever we choose, uh, next to me or something next to me <laughs> in our room for about six months anyway. Yeah, so that's been playing on my mind. And I know I'm only 10 weeks, so I, I shouldn't have to worry about that just yet. But that's just things that I lie in bed and I think about, I think that is gonna happen soon. Still taking my Pregnacare multivitamins. These are, these were given to me, this pack was given to me from my midwife in my booking in appointment. You get a lovely bounty pack given to you when you book in and inside some valuable leaflets and a pack of these, which you can just get from your local supermarket, usually in a much bigger box. I've just got the bigger boxes, but I've just got this to show you. Um, I'm still taking my iron tablets. I don't feel any different yet. Still feeling pretty tired. Yeah, fatigue. Fatigue is not leaving me. And I know they say when you get to the end of your first trimester, which is in about two-ish weeks, two, three weeks, something like that, things start to change and you're supposed to start feeling a bit better. So, come on, <laughs> tiredness, go away. But with, with George, my youngest, sleeping through the night, that has helped a lot. It really has, so I'm really pleased with that. The twins sleep brilliantly through the night. I can't complain. And obviously my eldest is a teenager, so, you know, she will just do her own thing and go to bed whenever she's 17, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, so in two weeks' time, I apparently should start to feel more awake, more alert, and it's supposed the second trimester is supposed to be the best part of feeling great that that bit is supposed to be happening in your second trimester so i'm supposed to be feeling really good um sickness for a lot of people has subsided unfortunately some ladies do carry it on some carry it on all the way through their pregnancy and i really feel for you if that's what's happening i really really feel for you because it is hard anyway it's hard carrying a baby and it's even worse when you feel like rubbish but you know it's for a good cause <laughs> but i'm just gonna i write my symptoms down on an app so i'm just gonna check just in case i've missed anything like anything of any significance which i think would be good to tell you oh yeah a couple of things skin breakout still keep getting spots my skin seems to be more oily i wake up in the morning and i, and I do feel like it's more oily it feels like I haven't washed my face that kind of oily but I do I wash it before I go to bed and then in the morning it does feel a bit ooh. and also I can be quite irritable sometimes little things uh, bother me and I think that's just because I'm tired that's maybe I, I don't know I mean tiredness affects us all differently food wise I have I have been craving now for a couple of weeks, a vanilla milkshake from McDonald's and our local McDonald's has had a sign on the drive through saying, sorry, our machine for milkshakes, etc., is broken. Not happy about that, but today, today it's not broken. So I've had myself a vanilla milkshake and oh my goodness. And I really like their, um, 
the spicy veggie wraps as well. Oh, lovely. I think that's what I like. A bit of spicy food, fruit, fresh fruit, um, veg, definitely a fruit and veg girl. Still not drinking tea. I had a cup the other day and no, no, it just doesn't, no, I can't. And I'm so sad about that because I usually love tea. Love a nice cup of tea and chocolate. Chocolate I'm starting to feel a little bit better with. So yeah, that is my 10 week pregnancy update. And I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you didn't know, I have already made some other videos to do with my pregnancy leading up to 10 weeks. So if you wanna go back and watch them, that would be great. And then you can catch up with me and we'll be all up to date. And if you are pregnant at the same time as me, then follow along, that'd be lovely. But obviously you might watch this in a year's time. So I hope this is helpful for you whenever you're watching it. I hope to build a nice community of pregnant people, non-pregnant people, mums, grandparents, anybody who feels interested in this subject and if you think that you might be able to add some words of wisdom or some any kind of help or anything just stick anything in the comment section so we can all help each other out that would be really really nice and yeah i do hope to build a nice community amongst us all saying that if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would absolutely love it if you would and if you like my video um please give it a huge great big thumbs up and saying that i will see you in the next one take care bye bye